It's My Life is the PBS Kids website for tweens to explore, you guessed it, life and the stuff we all deal with every day. Whatever problem you're having, whether it's an issue with your friends, family, school, body, or emotions, others have gone through the same thing. You can get info and advice, play games, take quizzes and polls, and share your experiences with young people all over the world. On this IML special, we'll see tweens take on issues that are important to all of us. That's what It's My Life is all about. Change my study habits a lot because I never really had to study in elementary and then like I needed to like learn what methods work the best. Well I adjusted to middle school because the teachers were really comforting so it didn't make me feel like I was in another school because they kind of helped me like through like the beginning of sixth grade I was kind of nervous but like as weeks went on I got used to the work and the homework, the classwork, and I got used to the people because I knew most of them already. So it got nicer as you like, you opened up and like you started to talk to more people. There wasn't that to adjust to. There was a lot more homework. I adjusted by playing with my friends. The work was harder. They were so much taller than me. It was, it was scary. And I'm a short person, so. <laughs> so, yeah. It felt like kind of the same because we didn't like meet anybody new. And they all call you midgets. Elementary school and middle school, well, first of all, they're, they're different names. The actual school is a lot bigger. The clicks. In elementary school, it's not that big of a deal because it seems like everyone gets along. And then when you go to middle school, everyone isolates themselves from other people based on anything, like the way they act or the way they talk or the way they dress. It's bigger and the teachers are kind of harsher. You don't think, that's okay, honey. It's like, you failed. <laughs> and in elementary school, it's younger kids. And in middle school, it's older kids and you're more responsible and it's harder. The way they group together, like there are your popular people that always stay together and never talk to anybody else. There's your nerdy people, the ones that are smart and always stick together. So it's like you need, in the beginning, like you need to adjust to try to find who you're supposed to be with. But I don't really like cliques because sometimes you want to hang out with people and you just can't. Yeah, I sort of agree with that. And I think it's sort of hard socially from elementary to middle school because for some reason elementary school, everyone's like really nice and they're really young so you can like talk to anyone. But when you get to middle school, it's sort of like the way you act and they're already like, to me, when I first went to middle school, there were already cliques there. Like yeah. there was a popular people and there were like the kids that didn't do work and they were really bad and they were the kids that always did the work and they didn't really talk to anyone. If they call you a midget, just ignore them because you will be as big as them one day. Except me, I won't be. <laughs> Talk to everybody you can because you never know what type of group they're going to be in. Because, like, yeah. the type of, like, middle schools are, like, separated in groups. You have your, yeah, clicked and, like, you have to make sure that you talk to, like, everybody. So, like, if you have one friend in the proper popular group, you get to talk to them. One friend in the um, normal group, you get to talk to them. So, like, you're basically separated in between a whole bunch of them. <laughs> Be strong. <laughs> Think positive. Uh, yes, I say you have to, uh, you have to be strong. Looking back at middle school, I thought it was going to be the worst three years of my life. And then after sixth grade, I looked at the year and like relapsed and stuff. And I was like, wow, that year was not that bad, actually. The people weren't that bad. The work and teachers were pretty good. So I think if you like think it through, it's not going to be that bad. You just have to learn to like manage your time with your schoolwork and your friends. If you have a terrible time or if you have a great time, sometimes it might be terrible. But you only go through it once, unless you get the left back. 
but you, <laughs> but you go through it once, yeah. 